In the spirit of Black History Month, there are many untold stories that still need telling. WBKB's Tiffany Maddox will dive deeper into one issue that is still affecting a small African-American population today. When we talk about Black History Month, we normally tell the stories of Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement, or the ideas and creations made by African Americans that we still use to this day. But today I'll share a story with you that many people don't hear about often, and that's the struggles and history of African American farmers. One Michigan native recently made a special discovery that's uncovered part of her family's history and explains some of the reasons even today why black farmers in the U.S. are on the decline. Land equals money equals power. That's one thought National Black Farmers Association founder and president John Boyd Jr. says was the motivation behind the history of black farmers. And it's what our family's ancestors felt too, like Darren Lynn Walker's great grandfather, Titus Orange. So his parents had to be slaves. Like there was no other way around it. And he, by the time when you look through the census, by the time it was like 1920, he had owned his own land and he had his own farm. After the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863, slaves were considered free, but the effect on slave owners was too much to bear. And many white plantation owners lost, uh, you know, they, they, all of their money. Uh, so a lot of blacks uh, stayed on these uh, plantations and they were able to, uh, quote unquote, buy land from the large scale uh, plantation owners who quite frankly needed their help. However, that didn't stop the discrimination. Walker says she learned of some of those struggles her great grandfather faced when she made a special discovery in her late father's home. I discovered deeds to property. I discovered a whole bunch of obituaries for family members and different things of that nature. I discovered pictures um, from the 19, early 1900s. Documents that tell her family's history from Georgia all the way to Michigan. While many blacks made the decision to relocate north during the Great Migration, including farmers, some stayed and dealt with the harsh realities. John Boyd Jr. has also seen those realities firsthand, even today, and he's been advocating for black farmers ever since. Compared to earlier times, black farmers in the industry have declined. In the 1920s, there were close to 100,000 black farmers. Of the 3.4 million farmers in the U.S., only 1.3 percent, or close to 46,000 farmers, are black. The vast differences also occur in income earnings between the two races. Uh, through the fact of uh, lack of uh, access to credit, uh, uh, the lack of uh, equipment, lack of fair markets. While Walker is sad to hear of those disparities, she says learning about her family, their history, and their struggles is motivational. The more that I found out about my history, the more proud I was of where I came from, and the more I wanted to do to preserve that reputation. That was WBKB's Tiffany Maddox reporting. Black Farmer Association President John Boyd is still fighting for equal rights for black farmers. He says the disparities in USDA lending, redlining, and other forms of discrimination still heavily exist, which have discouraged younger generations of color from entering the industry. His organization provides scholarships and mentoring to help close that gap.